The 138th Preakness is all about orb. There was a time when the Derby Preakness double was nearly automatic. From 1997 through 2004, six horses carried Triple Crown hopes to New York. But since then, only Big Brown and I'll Have Another have taken the first two legs. Orb is the even money morning line favorite. His tactical speed and versatility give him options despite drawing the rail. In the Florida Derby, he dropped back four lengths off the lead, 18 lengths before making his illustrious run in America's most famous race. It is Orb and Fred from Normandy Invasion, my loot and golden soul between horses, down to the wire, Orb has won the Kentucky Derby! Trainer Shug McGahee thinks Orb is continuing to thrive and develop physically. He even notices a difference in his stark hold in the past two weeks. I think there's more there. Not only mentally, but uh, you know, physically. I was seeing a different horse than I saw a week ago, two weeks ago, and you know, but he'll ha he'll have to answer that question. If Orb were to falter, it's wide open, and a nice price is likely. My Loot earns respect off his fifth place finish in the Derby. My Loot and Rosina Pravnik had to steady early, but came rolling in the end, beaten only three and three quarter lengths by Orb. He's been tabbed the five to one morning line second choice. Golden Sense disappointed his backers with a 17th place finish beaten 49 lengths. He rebounded nicely in the Santa Anita Derby after finishing off the board in the San Felipe. Trainer Doug O'Neill and Kevin Krieger hope the unique mile and 3 16th Preakness distance is a better fit than the Derby. Matt, it looks like we should be on the front or thereabouts and uh, it'd be hard for me to believe that anyone could clear us from the outside, but if they do, they're going really fast. Orb is uh, a few lengths better than everybody, it looks like. And uh, But, you know, that's why they run these things. If for whatever reason he encounters a little traffic or isn't feeling it that day, uh, you know, I think uh, we got a special horse as well. It's my lucky day failed to find luck on Derby Day. He finished 15th. But in Florida, he posted back-to-back triple-digit buyer speed figures and finished second to Orb in the Florida Derby. He's a likely key contender and at a price 10 to 1 on the morning line. New shooters departing and Governor Charlie, along with Orb, are the only horses that were victorious in their last start. Departing won the Illinois Derby easily after breaking for post 13. He circled the field six wide throughout much of the race. The question is, who did he beat? Bob Baffert elected to skip the Derby with his speedster, Governor Charlie, who hasn't raced since March 24th in the Sunland Derby. He, too, will be taking a major step up in competition. Keep in mind, Baffert wins at a 27% clip with horses running off a 31 to 60 day layoff. And then there's Hall of Fame trainer D. Wayne Lucas. He's won this classic five times and will send out a trio of horses in Oxbow, Will Take Charge, and Longshot Title Town 5. Oxbow and Will Take Charge ran a credible sixth and eighth place in the Derby. And that's the TVG Inside Track for the Preakness.